healing benefits of pranayama techniques. Pranayama techniques in yoga focus on regulating and balancing your breathing to improve your health. Benefits of different methods include maximum oxygen supply to the lungs, an efficient expulsion of carbon dioxide, better blood circulation, regulated heart rate and blood pressure, and most importantly reduced stress. It helps keep you calm throughout the day in any situation. Number 1. Benefits of Abdominal Breathing This is one of the three prominent types of breathing, abdominal, chest, and clavicular, shallow. Abdominal breathing supplies the maximum oxygen to your lungs and benefits your health in many ways. Number 2. Benefits of Yogic Breathing Here, you use all three respiratory muscles, that is, abdomen, chest, and clavicle. Chest breathing considerably increases the capacity of the lungs. But abdominal breathing fills up most of the lungs. Vicular breathing, on its own, is quite shallow. It polishes your breathing technique by completely expanding the chest and also helps with rounded shoulders. Some of the other benefits are as follows. Number 3. Benefits of Alternate Nostril Breathing, Anioloma Viloma. Anioloma Viloma literally means controlling the prana and is also called Nadi Shaddhana Pranayama. The right nostril or Nadi is called the sun breath, Pingala, and the left Nadi is called the moon breath. Ida. Breathing through different nostrils are said to be connected to your brain functions, the left, logical, side of the brain is said to be more active when the right nadi is more open and the right, creative, side of the brain is active when the left nadi is more open. Number 4. Benefits of Kapalabhati This is one of the satkriyas or six cleansing exercises for the body. Since it stimulates your nervous system, Preferably practice this in the morning, and not in the evening, to keep you active throughout the day. Apart from this, its benefits are as follows. Number 5. Benefits of Bastrika The difference between Bastrika and Kapalabhati is that it uses the whole respiratory system while Kapalabhati uses just the diaphragm. Here are its benefits. Number 6. Benefits of Ajjayi While Kapalabhati and Bastrika use rapid breaths to cleanse your system, Ajjayi involves deep, slow breathing that fills the lungs comfortably and helps you in many ways. Number 7. Benefits of Sightly Sightly is where you breathe in through your mouth and breathe out through your nostrils. It is compared to breathing air through a straw and has multiple benefits. Number 8. Benefits of Kamaka Kamaka means retaining breath and is used in many other forms of pranayama. You practice Kamaka in two ways, restraining the intake of breath, Antara Kamaka, or restraining the exhalation, Bai Kamaka. This breathing technique is said to be capable of increasing the period of life. If you hold your breath for one minute, you can supposedly increase the span of your life by one minute. Number 9. Benefits of Agnizha Urakriya Agnizha Urakriya is also a cleansing technique of pranayama with many benefits on your health. Improves metabolism and digestion, relieves constipation, might help with reducing tummy fat, makes you feel energetic helps with treating asthma and tuberculosis. Number 10. Benefits of Ajith Pranayama This combines chanting OM, OM, and regulating your breath. It helps you in the following ways calms you down relieves hypertension and help deal with acidity might improve memory yeah.